What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about microtransactions in Hogwarts Legacy and something the devs confirmed in a detailed Q&A, which I think a lot of people are really going to be happy to hear, is there's going to be no uh, microtransactions in any way, shape, or form is pretty much how it was worded. Uh, meaning that when you buy the game and pay that additional fee for the game, then you won't have to worry about unlocking additional content with microtransactions. Now, does that mean later down the road they may add something in? I'm not sure, but as of right now, they're saying there's going to be no microtransactions whatsoever. I'm not sure if they're meaning just for the start of the game or for the entirety of the game. There's already been leaks and rumors suggesting that Hogwarts Legacy will have DLC released for it much later down the line, which I was kind of assuming if the game is as popular uh, as it is right now, as it's getting hyped up, if it, if it lives up to the hype and it's really popular and a lot of people are playing it, I could see something like this having, you know, some DLC potential. So, of course, that would be something that you would have to purchase, but that's not necessarily something like a microtransaction. How will this work in game? Uh, how will it affect the game? We'll kind of have to wait and see because pretty much anything you play nowadays has microtransactions. So if you're playing something like a free to play game, there's microtransactions. If you're playing a first person shooter, there's microtransactions. There's even microtransactions in like Assassin's Creed style games. So overall, I found this to be very interesting. And I think a lot of people will find this to be kind of a, a breath of fresh air when it comes to the gaming industry because most games nowadays will have some type of, you know, microtransactions that, you know, allow you to purchase different cosmetic items or different, you know, items for the game to unlock things that you can't unlock without having it, you know, purchased from the store. So I think this is going to be a big benefit to the game if the game comes out, like I said, and lives up to all the hype, and which I'm hoping it really does because it looks like it could be an absolute awesome game. Uh, because, you know, you're just looking at a game that's in that open world kind of RPG action game. And, you know, in, in that Harry Potter kind of idea, uh, you know, in that Harry Potter universe. So I think this could be a really good game. And I think that a lot of people, like I said, will be really happy to hear that there's going to be no microtransactions. And like I said, they didn't go into any detail saying this is going to be permanent or if it's going to be just from the start of the game. But from the way they said it, from no way, shape or form, I would assume that meant permanently going forward even if there's more content that comes out later down the road anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace